Hello Leo, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at the energies between you and the person that you are thinking about or connecting with. Um, we're also going to look at how you feel about each other. Let's jump right in for Leo. Keep in mind that this reading is for the Leo Collective, so it will not resonate with every Leo watching. So take what resonates for you, it applies to you and your situation. For Leo spirit, what do they need to know about the person they're thinking about or connecting with at this time? What's the energies between Leo and this other person? What do we need to know? What do we need to know for Leo and this other person? that Leo is thinking about or connecting with. I need to know the energies between Leo and this other person. All right. Energies between you and this person at this time, the two of pentacles and the world. Okay, so almost like a little back and forth about the end of a chapter, the beginning of a chapter, because the world's all about beginnings and endings. On your side, we have Temperance, Sagittarius energy, and the Nine of Wands. So I feel like you've been waiting for something or have been patient through something. Um, we'll have to clarify and see what that's about. On the other person's side, we have the Six of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like this is something they want to give you or give to this connection. A solid offer, a new opportunity. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck, the Three of Wands. Three of Wands is really about waiting for a result or a response. It's like someone's debating and processing or waiting to make a decision about ending or beginning something. That's what I'm seeing here so far. So let's get some energies down for Leo. Get some insight, please. For Leo. Let's see overall energy between Leo and this other individual. What is the overall energy between Leo and this other individual? Inner voice, intuition, guidance, answers. Let your intuition guide you towards the right path. Someone could be listening to their intuition right now. Um, someone could be needing answers or seeking guidance about something. We'll have to see um, the more we get into this reading. I'm going to be using two brand new decks today, the Ever After deck and the P.S. I Love You deck. These are not available just yet, but when they are available, it will be on my Etsy shop and I will be um, announcing that on my channel and on Instagram. For now, I'm still kind of playing around tweaking them and I've been really enjoying uh, designing these and using them. So let's see what else we get for you, Leo. What's going on between Leo and this other person's spirit? What do we, oh, okay. We have once upon a time, beginnings, journey, first step. So I feel like there is an opportunity here for a beginning of some sort. And then we have adventure, taking risks, initiative, excitement. So yeah, I feel like there is something new. This is like, if, if this is someone you already know, there's a new a cycle or a new journey in your connection. Bottom of the deck, we have trapped in a tower, entrapment, solitude, escape. Someone could be stuck in a situation right now. Um, maybe they feel a bit lonely or like they're trapped. We'll have to see if that comes up in any of the clarifiers here. So let's clarify and get some more insight. Can I get some clarity, please, for Leo? Clarity, please, guidance for Leo. Leo, um, I want to give a shout out real quick to my book, Love Tarot Made Easy, which is in that corner over there. 
I go into all 78 cards of the tarot for love. I interpret them upright and reverse. So if you're curious about that, it is available on Amazon with Amazon Prime shipping and it's linked in the description box. All right, let's see, let's get some clarity. Let's start with this Three of Wands because it's the overall energy of this reading, the why, the root of why everything is happening. Why is the Three of Wands here? Why is the Three of Wands here? The Four of Wands and the Moon, Pisces energy with the Moon there. I feel like someone is, yeah, I was gonna say hesitating. The Hangman at the bottom of the deck. Someone's hesitating, but it's because of the unknown, because there is a lack of clarity, because maybe they have fears or doubts. That's why the Two of Pentacles is here. Someone's not quite sure which direction they wanna go in. All they're thinking about is, I just wanna be happy, or I just wanna have this Four of Wands. You know, it's like they know what they want. They just don't know exactly how to get there. This could be you, Leo. This could be your person. This could be a mix of both of you. And it also could be something to do specifically with your connection, like where your connection is headed or someone's action towards you, right? Like this could be somebody going back and forth about whether to communicate or someone going back and forth about, you know, is this gonna end up anywhere stable? You know, there's many ways to interpret this so far. Can we get some insight here on this Two of Pentacles? Why is the Two of Pentacles here, Spirit? Why is the Two of Pentacles here? The Six of Pentacles, yeah, someone's debating whether, and I think it's your person because they have the Six of Pentacles over there. It's like they're debating on what to do how much to give, um, whether they should give. Tell me about this Two of Pentacles. Why is Two of Pentacles here? The Emperor, Aries energy. Yeah, and there's the Seven of Cups. Like, what do I do? What option do I go with? What options do I have? Uh, what doors do I open, et cetera, et cetera. Now the Emperor, this is Aries energy, and the Emperor is a doer. The Emperor takes charge. They like things done a certain way. So I find that kind of fascinating here that we have the Emperor and the Six of Pentacles. It's like someone's debating how much to give, how much to put into something, whether they should make this offer is really what I think this is boiling down to, if that's even a phrase. Okay, tell me about the world. Tell me about the world, please. The Nine of Wands shows up again. Difficulty. This is um, the Nine of Wands is someone that has been through a lot. They're very guarded, very defensive. Um, you know, they're in protection mode because of everything they've been through. So this could be somebody that you know. But I'm getting stuck from this energy. Tell me about the world. Like someone has been stuck in a situation for a long time. The sun, okay. Can I get one more please for the world? Why is the world here? There's the Ace of Pentacles again. So, okay. The lovers at the bottom of the deck. Wow, Gemini energy there. Okay, Leo. Um, I feel like this is all connected, but I just don't see it just yet. <laughs> To be perfectly honest with you, I feel like there's so many ways to interpret this at this point. Um, someone's thinking about what could be with the sun, the four of wands. I do see that with the world. It's like a new cycle, new beginning, new opportunity. Once upon a time, beginnings, you know, first steps, a new cycle. Someone is thinking about that. However, there's something else here. It's like, I'm trying to figure out what the holdup is, right? Like, what's the issue? Is the issue fear with the moon? Like someone's just not sure, is having doubts? That could be it. But I feel like there's something that I might be missing here that I just don't know enough about. Let's keep going here. I'm gonna clarify both of your energies. I have you on the left and your person on the right, but feel free to interchange the energies or like um, the energies could be vice versa. All right, so. Let's start with you over here with temperance. What is temperance doing here, spirit? What is temperance doing here? Why is temperance here? Something over time. Okay, I got two cards actually. 
Nine of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. Someone's worried. Maybe they're worried, anxious. Maybe, I'm, I'm going to say this is you. I feel like you're worried or anxious about something because of the timing. Maybe you've been waiting a long time. Maybe things are not moving fast enough. Yeah, Four of Swords. Maybe you're worried if something will happen at all. You know, there's a bit of fear here. Anxiety with the Nine of Swords. I feel like you're trying to keep it together, though. Like, you're trying to not give up, not give up hope. The Wheel of Fortune is here almost as if, like, things could still work out. I feel like this could still have, like, I could still have a lucky break. Even though nothing's really happening or I don't really have confirmation of things moving forward, I feel like someone is, you know, kind of worried that something is not going to play out. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. Why is the Nine of Wands here? This one. The Eight of Wands. Okay, can I get one more? Okay. Ace of Wands. Wow, quick. All right, and the Six of... Okay, my deck is like playing tricks on me today. Cards are coming out. I don't know how. <laughs> okay, so the I don't think you could see that from the angle of the phone, but just, you know, trust me on that. Um, Six of Swords, Eight of Wands, Ace of Wands. Okay, so again, this energy of something new. A new start, a new beginning, uh, a new initiative, a new adventure. Um, and I feel it's like tied to a departure of some sort. You're leaving some difficulty behind and moving quickly towards this Ace of Wands. So again, this could be interpreted as, you know, there's some sort of difficulty you're leaving behind with the hope that there's something new ahead. For some reason, this just could be like how you're feeling about um, love, right? Like just love in general. Like you could just be feeling like perhaps, I don't know, maybe things aren't moving around quickly enough for you regarding love. Or it could be that the person that you're dealing with they are not making moves towards you or you're wondering if you're going to have a new beginning in love again many ways to interpret this is you know i know that's infuriating but that's just how what i'm seeing here and i don't the more i clarify the less clarity i get <laughs> it's kind of what it feels like like this right here it could be that you are headed towards this ace of wands right but what does that mean for all of you, it's going to be different. Comment down below what a new beginning would look like for you. Would it be a new beginning in love? Would it be a second chance with someone that you already have in mind? Would it be meeting, you know, your soulmate? Um, leaving a place that you're living in and hoping that on, you know, when you make that move, there's someone there waiting for you, etc. There's so many ways, right? All right, so let's look at your person. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? This one. The Knight of Wands, making some sort of move. Passionately going after something, feeling motivated. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles, yes. Your person is thinking about, I feel like they're that emperor that was wondering what options they have with the Seven of Cups, because the Seven of Cups showed up earlier. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. What does this move look like? What are they moving towards? What action are they taking here? What can you tell me about this Knight of Wands? Ten of Cups. Okay, again, it's just general, right? Like, it's like someone going after their happiness, after their happy ending. Success, victory, Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This person is thinking about giving to something in a certain way with the Seven of Cups, right? Making some sort of decision or option or, or choice, you know? It's like, when I pick the right cup, that decision will lead me to my happiness, my happy ending, Ten of Cups. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? 
Page of Wands. Again, going after something. And there's the Empress. Emperor and Empress. Your person is the one thinking about action. They have the Knight of Wands, Page of Wands. These two take initiative. These two are impulsive, risk takers. They're willing to make the first move. These two. Don't really think too much about things. They kind of just want to get out there and like do it. So I feel like this is someone that wants to make some sort of offer to you. And I think they're debating whether, you know, what's the best approach with the Seven of Cups? What's the best way that I can make this move? Because I feel like someone is hoping for the best possible outcome. The Sun, Ten of Cups, Four of Wands, right? Like my happy ending is within reach and I just have to make good choices to get there. Let's see how you're feeling about each other. Let me get some PS I love you oracles here. Spirit, can I get some more insight for Leo? The energies, please, before, between Leo and this person. What do we need to know, Spirit? What do we need to know? Tell me about Leo's energy. Tell me about Leo's energy. And Leo, these energies could be how you feel towards them or how they feel towards you, you know, because energy is like that. I'm going through a hard time. I mean, you do have the Nine of Wands on your end here, so that does make sense that you would be going through a hard time, some sort of difficulty. Can I get one more, please, for Leo? Can I get some insight into Leo's energy? Burdens and obligations. So you're feeling a bit burdened, a bit weighed down here, Leo. Going through a hard time. Um, but I feel like you've been faithful. Unwavering love is at the bottom of the deck. You know, maybe you've been really loyal to this person despite the history between you or despite what's going on. Or perhaps you have someone in mind that, you know, despite all the difficulties you've been with through, despite all of the difficulties you've been through with this person, you still feel like this is your person. This could also be that your person's having burdens and obligations and is telling you that they're going through a hard time as well. Take it as it resonates. Tell me about Leo's person, the person that Leo is thinking about connecting with. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know about this other person? Thinking of you. So they're thinking about you at this time. Tell me about this person that Leo is having or will be doing. What do we need to know about this individual? Oh, I got two. Interesting. I pretend that I am okay, but inside I am hurting. And I don't have the courage to face you. Okay, so this person could be also having some sort of fears, anxieties. Bottom of the deck is, I wish I could tell you how I feel. I find this very interesting because I feel like you're mirroring each other a little bit. You have anxieties and fears. There's the moon here with the nine of wands. So, you know, I feel like since you have the nine of wands with the moon and they have the seven of cups over there with these energies, I feel like you're both kind of in the same boat, whether you know that or not. I think you're both hoping for a new beginning. But I think neither of you has made the first move just yet. I feel like your person is the one that's debating whether they want to make that first move. Because they don't have the courage to face you, it seems like. They want to tell you how they feel. They want to approach you, but I don't think they have just yet. They're thinking about it, but they haven't just yet. And I feel like unless you talk to this person, you're not going to know where the other one stands, right? Like, you, I feel like you both have an idea of what you would like for your future, but neither of you have, has told the other person about it, which is kind of a shame because I feel like there is a new beginning that could take place here with the world, once upon a time in an adventure, the Ace of Wands showed up, the Ace of Pentacles is here. You know, we have so much potential for new beginnings and new starts. I feel like you're, you've been waiting for this person to make the first move for some time and let me know if i'm right about that in the comments but that's what i have for you leo thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this reading if you did don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already i would love to have you and i will see you all in another reading very soon
Take care.